Okay, we're back here live here in Las Vegas. This is Amazon Web Services reInvent Conference. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's The Cube, our flagship program, where we go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise, and we're excited to always have entrepreneurs and developers here. Obviously, there's a lot of use cases and successes Amazon's having, as well as upgrading the overall product line across the board in the cloud. Uh, Molly Chernichek is the CEO of um, uh, Sports, Cast, Xcast, is that how you say it? Sport, Sportcast. Sportcast, with an mm -hmm. X-A-S-D. New app launched, um, again, in stealth mode. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Um, you guys launched, had a big presentation here. Um, tell us about the app first. Let's get a plug in for the app, and then let's talk about what you guys launched here and why the cloud, why Amazon? Well, we, we think that there's great plays in every sport, every age group, every level, every type of sport, and there's almost nobody to broadcast and share a lot of these moments. And so we have created a way to make it really easy for people with their smartphone to capture the best highlights of youth, high school, and college sports. So talk about the, the cloud aspect. We had Dropcam on earlier, they were on stage, so we had an interview yesterday with, with Greg, obviously huge video thing there. And you know, anyone who has a smartphone, and the smartphones are getting better with the cameras, uh, catching that moment, just talk about what it does and how does the cloud work? What's the, how did you guys wire it, wire it together? Well, uh, I probably should, my CTO is a little bit better at this than I am, but we looked at, we, had, we have a number of uh, streams coming up from the mobile phones and then coming back down to the mobile phones in the same event. So we're using storage, we're using Elastic Beanstalk, we're using transcoders, we're using a lot of instances to be able to move uh, the data around to different devices. How old is the company? Give us a little uh, history. I know you guys were in stealth mode. How, how, when was it started and, and uh, how long did it take to build the app? We really got started in, in March, right after Startup Week in Santa Fe. Uh, we won and we started right then. And we, so we've been almost seven months now and we've just got the app to a point where we're starting uh, beta and we're here to uh, let it go into a beta round and let people start really using it. So I just texted 313131 to get the app. So what happens next? I'm going to get the app? Yes. Yeah, you're not just going to put me on a mailing list? No mailing list today. <laughs> it's, it's all live. It's the real deal. Because <laughs> yeah. I have the greatest high school sports highlight in history. I want to, in a football game. I got, and I you know, wonder what to do with it. It's just an incredible play. That, so I'm going to put it up. Great, <laughs> great. Yeah, but you have to record it with their app, though. You, yeah. So your app. Oh, so I can't put so it up. You I can't, app, I can't ingest so I got, from. So I got a demo last night. Let me get this right if I got it right. So you point the app at the footage. Mm -hmm. and, and when you want to capture it, you say, hit the capture button. It rewinds. Is right. that what it does? Like eight, how many seconds, it, minutes? It's changing how you record sports, for sure. You just wait till you see something. And it's really nice to be at a game and see you think somebody's going to score a goal. You put the phone up right then and you just hold it, it buffers eight seconds constantly. And so once you see something, you get the goal and you see the, the cheering, then you hit the button and it gets those eight seconds. All right, so I can put it up on my flat screen, use your app and record it, you know, the recording I have and you know, the quality won't be as good, but I can get it in there. Right, <laughs> and you know, there's all kinds of nice accessories being built. We use a 2X uh, lens that costs about 20 bucks that gets you really much closer to the action as well and e able to see kids' faces and whatever, which is nice. Because if you look at most things that are broadcasted, uh, more on the cheap with college and high school sports, it's so far away, the camera anyway. Even though they have top of the line um, devices, it's still far away. But so with the phone, you can get pretty close. So it's a 2X lens that you fit onto like a camera like the ones we're using? Or? Yes. Well, no, just your smartphone. You okay, just put so you a put magnet on, smartphone. on your smartphone lens and, and it just attaches. So I don't need a, a super camera. To you know, the cameras are only getting better on the phones and that's an, another reason why we went for it now because we know there's gonna, it's just going to get improve and improve and improve. And so what, what kind of you know, sharing do you have? I mean, collaboration or... So first you know. of all, if I create an event, I'm at the park and it's a soccer game, the angry rhinos versus Batmans, I just create the event, and then if you come in, I don't have to know you, but you can open and see the events already created and immediately join. So right then and there, we've got two of us broadcasting the game. It goes into a common timeline. You get a better, sh better video clip than I do. I can share it, I can email it, I can SMS it, I can put it on Facebook or Twitter. On Twitter. And you say, you guys uh, started in March, Molly? Yes. And so, uh, talk about the company a little bit, how you were funded and where you're at now in terms of headcount. So we are still operating on a seed round 
you know, we're lucky because it is software. And we have, right now we have five, uh, six of us. Um, we've got uh, um, a director of art, our, our art director. We've got Brett, our COO, and, and Mark Ortega, our CTO. We've got um, Andrea doing marketing. And uh, right now we're, we have two development teams. Uh, we've, they're both out offshore right now, but we're starting to, we're raising a, an A round and we're hoping to build our development team in-house and also increase our marketing presence. So you guys are raising a round or have raised yes. a round? No, we're starting to raise a round. So you're going out, starting to look for that? Correct. How's that going? It's going <laughs> all right. Uh, you know, we're, we're doing a bridge first and, and we've been, we're starting to be very successful. Who was successful. the seed financer? Do you guys founders? Uh, so the founders put in money, but Bill Bice, he's, uh, he started the Verge Fund. He's a co-founder of the Verge Fund in New Mexico. And so he was our uh, first investor. He was a judge at Startup Santa Fe, Startup Week in Santa Fe, which yeah. helped. And Not a bad place, Santa Fe. Beautiful, beautiful area. Yeah. Um, and love to go skiing at Tahoe. It's one of my favorite mountains in the, in the oh, world. Oh, yeah, me too. Um, but talk about, so you guys really, really rapid rise. I mean, you're talking about March of this year, yes. 2013. Yes. You win the startup competition, you get a little dough. I'm, was there prize money involved in that? No, but we got. But you got the connection for the seed we, financing. And we got a uh, free three months in a business incubator there, which helped a lot, yeah, and we good. moved right in. You made had it seed easy. funding and then the developer, so it's an app, so you had to write the code. Yes. Did you guys do, tell about the mobile app. Was, what did you guys program in? Was it native? Was it, did you use a uh, certain uh, framework? Do you know? Can we, you comment on that? We, you know, it's 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 pretty general. There's no there's nothing too magic. We found a really good team that's been able to use you know iOS, iOS and Xcode and and Is it on Android PHP. As well? We we will put it on Android in so the right new year. So right now it's only Apple. Only on Apple. It's yeah. Smart. It's better, yeah. better platform. Android's got some bugs. Um, the uh, Apple first is always a good <laughs> strategy. Um, so talk about their objectives. I mean, you saw Snapchat just turn down $3 billion from yeah. Facebook, Wall Street Journal's reporting, and everyone's Silicon Valley's kind of shaking their heads. You know, Instagram's What do you think about that? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I'd say take the money, come on, you're crazy. Yeah, I saw it this morning, watching Pretty the wild, news, right? I, was, I was, you know, you got to admire the, their, uh, their guts and just to go for it, I'll tell you. They're being compared to Groupon. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, Groupon I mean, had a you know, big offer. But that just goes to show you the, the, I mean, Snapchat is used by a lot of kids. Everyone, I, mean, I use it with my, my kids, and that's the only way they want to communicate with me now, because they know the pictures will you know, uh, be, be deleted. But seriously, I mean, Snapchat has an opportunity to go beyond that, but that's the rise of the mobile app, right? So do you guys, what's your expectations in terms of um, milestones? Do you guys have any uh, certain metrics you're looking at in terms of uh, deployment? Well, we, this is the beginning of our beta testing. We hope to hit the winter sports really heavily, both especially with high school sports and with uh, skiing and snowboarding. Uh, we hope to get a number of users on by the spring, get the Android version out, and just keep um, expanding. We are expanding heavily in high school sports and in club, especially soccer. Yeah, so uh, so I'm sorry, I missed it. So you, uh, your iOS today? Yes. And then Android's coming. So now, I go to the website, I text 3131, Three one, get the app, and then how do I get the the lens? Tech Sport to three one three one three one. Yes, uh, you can get the lens off of PhotoJojo.com, or there's a lot of places out there. I uh, we've learned the hard way because if you go, you can get them way cheap through a Chinese company, but they don't always come with the right magnets for your phone. They they don't measure them for the iPhone five very well. But you don't have to have that. I I go out all the time with just the phone or my seven inch iPad and that camera is pretty good too and and get a lot of clips that way. I like to have it if I if I have the mag you know the the lens that's great but you don't have to especially on youth games because you're right there on the sideline. So now you mentioned uh, especially club soccer. You mm -hmm. you emphasize that. Why? Yes. Why club soccer? What's so unique? You know there's just there's it's such a huge sport <laughs> and it's everybody everywhere. loves it and you know it's fun. I mean if you can get the goals and, and just have one of the things that we are seeing already with the alpha testing and putting it out there on our Facebook page and, and Twitter is people love to see great plays. And they love to see great plays where they know there's a name associated with it, there's a team associated with it, and there's a community associated with it. And that's been really interesting to watch because there may only be 100 people at a game, but all of a sudden 1,800 people have looked at it on Facebook. So you, you can see how the community can grow. So you're for basically sport. integrating social into it, so it's not just a simple video app. You're saying, okay, you can get the capture of the plays. It's always hard to do with a smartphone, but so you guys have that case. So it's a nice feature, but also you're now including other folks in that 
game. How do you guys do that? You do it by geolocation? Yes. Do you do it by hashtag? Yes. Or? Yes, yes, and yes. Yes, and yes, uh, okay. So yeah, we, when you show up with your, the app and you open it, it should tell you where you're, you are. If you're at you know, Albuquerque High School, it should tell you you're there. Otherwise, you can write in a field if it's not showing. And then, yes, we can, people use hashtags. It's really nice for players right now. For instance, if you, your kid is a goal scorer or wants to go to college, you can hashtag her, his or her name and then do a search and get all of the plays she's been in. So I want to just share a comment with you because this might help your Series A round for the investors who might not get that one. It's very sticky and viral when you get when you bring in the social dynamics. So that's a very positive thing that not a lot of people understand. But there was a quote by um, the uh, CEO of the San Francisco 49ers, mm -hmm. uh, Jed York, who's a young guy. Uh, he's got Gideon Yu, ex-CFO of Facebook that works there. Uh, my friend Doug Garland runs In Stadium Experience, and they're building a new stadium in San Francisco. And he told me at the uh, SAP Sapphire conference when I interviewed him, he goes, why should we pay for a $60 million, billion dollar, million dollar scoreboard, kind of like the Dallas Cowboys have, when the technology be obsolete in three years, when my fans buy their own phones and bring it to the stadium every day? So his whole premise is, we'll do a scoreboard, but we're not going to go over the top like the Cowboys. What he was saying is, hey, we're going to just optimize the in-stadium experience. So what that means is your phone app would be like, if I'm in the stands of the Niners game, I then have, there's thousands and thousands of people who are essentially highlighting. Mm -hmm. Is that, would that be a use case for you guys? Possibly, you know, we're, we're not, we have not focused at all on pro sports just because, you know, they have 36 amazing cameras recording everything, but that's where it's yeah. all going. And then the next level, and, and we, have, we are working very closely with Los Alamos National Lab, but is computer vision. And you know you can see down the line when you're going to have a chip in your phone. You can put it on a tripod, and it'll be able to follow a player, or it'll be able to follow a ball. It'll be able to know what a goal, when a goal or a touchdown occurs. And so, yeah, I mean, it's all going a whole different way. Yeah, but pro sports is harder, right? Because you're further away. Mm -hmm. Like you said, there's already great angles. You get yes. an instant replay. Right. You don't have that in high school and college, and like you say, club soccer. So I can't wait. Can't wait to well, get we really that. appreciate you coming on theCUBE. I, I want to ask you one final question um, before we kind of end the segment is, share your experience with Amazon, because that's the, the rise of the startup, and I was commenting earlier on Twitter that you know, looking at Dropcam, looking at what you guys are doing, because obviously you couldn't talk about you guys uh, until today, but this is an example of a new economy. I mean, you know, everyone's talking about job creation and innovation, and I mean, literally, Dropcam probably never would have made it, because VCs weren't funding them and they didn't have enough cash, but with the cloud, they were able to bootstrap and get to traction. The, and talk about yeah. the impact of Amazon. What's your experience? And do you believe in the cloud economy? Also, you're living it, and how, does, how has it helped you? And then what's, what's, the, what's it like here at the event? Those two questions. Well, I think what Amazon's done for us is, has really given us, made us be bigger, faster, and put us in a position to be bigger, faster without spending a tremendous amount of money. I mean, that, that is such a huge, you know, we, we've gotten help from them, we've gotten technical help, we've gotten um, all kinds of um, advice on how to do things. We've been able to use tools we didn't even know existed because of it. And so the, the Amazon thing, I would suggest anybody starting out with a, something like we have, it's a little complicated, just start with them, you won't regret it. Um, you know, this environment is great. Everybody's doing really neat things, everybody's excited. We had a great time last night with so many Amazon people because they're all fired up to help startups. And okay, so final question. Put the bumper sticker on the car that's leaving Las Vegas about this event. If you had to create a bumper sticker for this event, what would be on that bumper sticker? Oh, that's a good one. Um. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. I stumped you? Yeah, you totally stumped me. <laughs> you know, I just say, you know, go big. Amazon's behind you, so. All right, oh, that's good. go big that's or go home, as they say, you know. Oh, good. <laughs> go big and you won't have to go home uh, with Amazon. That's right. Uh, thank you very much, Bob, I really appreciate it. Uh, Sportscast, uh, check out that app, it's uh, really awesome. I got the demo last night, we'll see how it does. We'll be watching you guys. Great to see Santa Fe, startup scene, great place to live. I know folks that live there, love skiing in Tahoe, it's one of my favorite mountains. Um, and it's an amazing, amazing part of the country, so congratulations and keep in touch. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.